All right, guys, there we go. RX-7 rotary engine. Check it out. Guess what came in from the mail? Glow Chef product. Oh yeah, by the way, this uh, product I got from uh, Glow Chef is not sponsored. So I bought this on my own money. So Glow Chef, if you guys are watching, uh, I spend uh, tons of money from you guys. And I'm gonna make some more videos uh, with my project here. I got the Honda Prelude. I got two of them. I need some uh, gauges on those. And uh, we're back on our RX-7. Starting from here, we got the sandwich uh, plate for the oil and filter sit on top. We get the gauge pod holder on the A-pillar. We get this uh, fuse circuit to top in to get power from the fuse block. All right, there's uh, two right here because we got two gauges right there. So uh, this is the multicolor tinted gauge right here. This is for the oil pressure, and this one is for the boost. All right, let's get started. All right guys, so so I'm gonna quickly show you guys what's going on here. Um, there's a couple plugs here, plug in the hole on this uh, sandwich plate. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly show you how this thing works. I know some of you guys know what's going on here already. Show you what's going on here. This is a cold engine having been ran for like a week. So um, this should have leaky oil here when i take out this filter it looks bone dry i don't know if that's normal should have like a pressure relief valve that holds the pressure but anyways so you can see on that adapter plate on the filter over there there's no uh, gasket and uh it's a gasket right here so that goes like this and there's no gasket here but there's a filter that goes over so there's a gasket in between all the time, okay? Some people will install it like this because of the word glow shift on it. And it's not gonna work because there's double gasket here, two rubber, and then there's no rubber here. So it has to be upside down when we install this thing. It has to be upside down. So under up, turn that knob in the middle, nice and snug, and then uh, filter sits on top. I've seen one that people dent their filter here so that it's not going to hit that sensor connector. But in this case, because I got that glow shift adapter sandwich, it's a perfect, perfect height for my filter. See, it's not even hitting. It's probably be like five or eight millimeter distance right here. There, get you guys really close up in there so you can tell uh, there's a lot of gap right there on the connector for the sensor and then the filter. There's a lot of this distance. So I could uh, play around with the adapto plate. I could probably move it facing this way, but who knows. I'm just gonna line her up for now which way I want it facing to. All right, here's the gauge that uh, we're gonna be tapping onto that sandwich plate. Really nice. This up to uh, eight, 100 PSI on this. All right, here we go. So we got the, the sensor right there and the, the wire that goes into the back of the gauge and here's a pigtail snap into the sensor that would go in the back of the gauge okay that's a really long wire on this thing so it, it snap like this it goes like that all right so i took that adapter plate um I believe this is the best way for, for me to do this. 
yeah this is the best uh, setup for me to do this it's like this and then uh, there's another hole right here man there's like three extra holes here you could tap so many things on there on this uh, adapter plate you can put the temperature there's a pressure I don't know what what else you want to put on those two I guess uh, just in, depends on which way you want to face this uh, adapter plate I guess so the best for me is like that and then we're just gonna slide this in just a little twist like that and then uh, get the filter on there man this is a nice height for this filter you can see the sensor is facing the firewall and then I uh, run the wire from the sensor go that way or who knows it'll go this way so I got a idea of running this uh, vacuum line here from my boost gauge and here's the harness for the oil sensor I'm gonna run this through the firewall all the way inside the, the vehicle so I was thinking of going through the vacuum booster over there but I don't want to drill holes on the firewall so I'm thinking of uh, run it on this left side right here I noticed that uh, my battery is in the trunk so it's gonna follow the wire of the battery it goes into that hole right there and then I took off the wheel on this side and then peel off the liner and then it's gonna come up on the top engine bay right there and then it goes into that big fat wire loom right there and then that goes into the cab so I'm just gonna run it this way and it's gonna go underneath the glove box I'm going across the dash and then right side of the driver all the way to the a pillar so that's my idea no drilling and no uh, cutting wires Twenty minutes later. All right, guys. Show you my uh, plumbing here. Uh, this is the finishing touch of uh, doing this uh, boost and oil pressure gauge install. So boost gauge. Here is the vacuum line right here. Right on the intake manifold. It will read boost negative and positive, and it will tuck right into the back. I'll show you that fitting that I got. So I had to go to the store and uh, there's that fitting. Hopefully you can see this here. Uh, vacuum line, vibe wire to a fitting and then to a compression fitting to a nylon hose right there. Tuck right in. And then it's lined all the way to the firewall down the hole right there and then here's my oil pressure sensor right there just chilling and there's the wire tuck underneath right there all the way to the hole right there all right so on the fender it goes up there's that two line right there it goes into that big wire loom inside this will push in and close that gap right there underneath so I take out the ECU it's come up comes out right here there's a blower motor comes out right here so I tuck it in already that's the line right there it tucks on these brackets and all this plastic brackets right here so that's not hanging down low goes over the tunnel under the dash on the other side over there all right so right side and there's the two line right here all right so i use this little stick to run it through so it's easy for me to uh, fish it out and this goes into the a pillar behind this dash right here and it goes in here right here all right guys it's getting dark now so the wire is tucked underneath 
right there goes behind the clutch and brake and the gas pedal it goes up right here those two line oil and boost line and then there she is right here and just tuck right in here I'm gonna put double-sided tape here same thing on this side just kind of just shove it in there I'm not gonna put a screw in there because uh, uh, it looks ugly when you put screw so it's better to uh, put a double-sided tape and then it's gonna be nice and firm and it's gonna look sick so oil pressure right there at the back at the front and then boost right there um, next video I'm gonna wire them up put power on it and ground that will be the next video but I don't want to make this video long and gonna end this video right here so if you guys like this video make sure to subscribe and check out more of my channel on this RX-7 or Honda Prelude stay tuned on the next one so so next video stay tuned coming up I'm gonna wire all those two gauges right there instruction and I got the wiring diagram all right so stay tuned guys part two see you again on the next one